All right, Sunday night, Sunday night live. They got Monday night live in football. They got Sunday night football. And tonight I got Sunday night prep. I did figure out, by the way, how to get my phone turned horizontal. Only took uh, a few days, but I'm coming to you live. I'm still in Watercolor, Florida, folks. You're like, is Coach moving to Watercolor, Florida? Uh, absolutely gorgeous day to day in Watercolor, Florida. Sunshine and 70 something degrees. Reminded me, Peter O'Neill, why I have a house in Florida today. That's what I was reminded of. Sunshine. End of November, beautiful, been outside all day. And and I want to have a serious talk with you guys tonight because, you know, I got this new book coming out called Flip the Switch. And 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 I and I wanna I wanna go back to a period in my life where I worked hard and played hard. And I used the weekends to escape. Okay? I, I used the weekends to escape. Okay? So I worked throughout the week. And then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, Daniel Hodges was just about just about playing hard, man. Brian White, just reach out to me this week. Um, and, and then somewhere along the way, I made a decision to be really interested in my potential. And I started using the weekends differently. Okay, I started using the weekends to rejuvenate. I started using the weekends to prepare. I started using the weekends to study. I started using the weekends because to, to train in my online academy okay now i know what you're gonna say man i got kids and i got this well listen folks i got three kids i got an, almost a newborn i got a two a two and a half year old and i got a 10 year old so most of my day to day was spent with them playing with my son playing with my daughter outside doing family things but guess what when i wasn't with my kids you know what i was doing greg listening to books reading making notes. Tonight I sit down and train in my online academy, Pastor Ken. I train every week in the online academy. I make notes for the week. I get my team ready. Just had an hour conversation with one of my team members. I made uh, sales calls, text message and follow up with people, Cynthia. So when I was studying tonight in my online academy, Monster Growth Academy, it occurred to me that people who are interested, people who take an interest in their potential. See, potential is of no value, Kelly Eisler. Unless it is unless it is exerted. Like now I got my kids in the bed. I could watch TV, I could watch football, I could right, there's a lot of things I could do. What I choose to do is is get ready for the week. What I choose to do is think about what I'm gonna cover in my morning meeting. What I choose to do is sit down and map out my level ten opportunities. What I choose to do is maybe get in the pool and get some extra exercise. What I choose to do is improve. Because I'm interested in, you hear me say, going pro. Leaving amateur desires behind and making a freaking decision to go pro. Right? I commit. Then I got the courage and I get a new capacity. And then I, then I have a lot of confidence. And I just don't see a lot of people who do this, man. I see a lot of people who use the weekends to escape. They roll in on Monday unprepared. They spend most of the day trying to get ready to get better. And they just have not made this decision to take a deep interest in their potential. So when people are asking me about what is the new book going to do for people, Pastor Ken, the new book is going to is going to push people to get interested in their own potential, to truly flip the switch. Right? And when I say flip the switch, when you when you choose to go pro in one area of your life, you choose to go pro in every area, man. And I can't remember who said that, but it's like when you get serious about one area, you get serious about every area. Body, mind, heart, and spirit. So you got to ask yourself, are you serious enough to train in an online academy every week? Are you serious enough to sit down and map out your week? Are you serious enough to spend a few hours on Sunday planning? Are you serious enough to leave your amateur desires behind and quit escaping and get into rejuvenation? Are you serious enough, right? Because when you look at people, I sent a note to my team and I said the people who earn 10 times the amount of money than other people are typically 10 times more committed they typically have 10 times stronger skill set. They typically have 10 times more focus. And you're sitting there looking at a person going, now, how is she doing that? How is he doing that? How are they producing 10 times the amount of money than I am? Well, they, they could be 10 times more skilled than you are. 
They could be 10 times more committed than you are. They may have 10 times more effort than you do. And people use 10 times. You could use five times. Anybody can two times a business by working harder. But you can't 10 times it by working harder. That's where you need structure. You need more intentionality. So Daniel Hodges, what, 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 what I do is I spend a lot of time thinking and I spend a lot of time planning and I spend a lot of time mapping it out and I spend a lot of time executing. When I get into tomorrow, guys, I don't think. When I get into Monday, all my thinking has already been done. All of the podcasts have already been listened to. All of the prep work has already been done. And so when I get into the week, it's literally about execution. It's about how many people can I talk to? How many people can I follow up with? How many people can I bring to a close? How many people can I, right? See, when I get into the week, uh, Rochelle, it, it's not about thinking. I've already done all the thinking. The thinking happened on the weekend. The podcast happened on the weekend. The reading the books happened on the weekend. See, Monday, Billy, it's all execution, man. It's all execution because thinking actually becomes a liability. Uh, uh, and because, man, I ain't got time to think. Why? Because I got to talk to people. I got to coach people. I got to bring value to people. And if you will wake up this week, spend all of your time focusing on other people's ambitions, focusing on helping other people move from A to B in their life, quit any whining you got going on, quit any complaining you got going on, quit any, you, you know, amateur desires you got going on, and literally just wake up every day, listen to people's problems and ambitions. David Nichols, just listen, talk to people, right? That's why I say initiate, connect with people, locate their ambition, and bring real value to them. And if you will bring real value to them through your unique ability, through your unique skill set, you will always have a chance to make money, right? So it's a lot about listening and presenting an idea and following up with people and bringing people to a close. That's really what it is about, okay? Now, does it help to be a person of interest in the world? Absolutely. But the way you become a person of interest is through consistency, reliability, showing up over and over, getting in the game, being an asset versus a liability. That's the way you become a person of interest, right? And all the other things we teach. But, but a lot of it is just, man, people are watching you and they're evaluating you and they're making an assessment of you and they're trying to decide if they can count on you or not. That, right, right? Like last week, I observed a lot of people took all week, the whole week off last week. The all week off Thanksgiving, right? They're, they're, try, they're trying to make some money. They're struggling in their business, but they decided to take a whole week off. Folks, you don't need to take a whole week off. You take Thanksgiving off. Maybe you take Friday off. That, that was four days in a row, by the way. So you should be rested. You should be rejuvenated. There should be no excuses, right? But you can't have it both ways. You can't say, I need to make more money, but I'm going to take the week off. And I see people doing that all the time. There's a guy out there right now owes me some money. And he said, you know what? I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm off with my family. I'm like, look, man, tell your family you need to go to work and make money because you owe other people money. Okay, You don't go on vacation when you don't have any money. You earn a vacation. Okay, So it's people's priorities are really screwed up, man. Okay, if, if, if you know, I got some health coaches on here, people that want to lose weight need to get on the health program. People that want to make money need to get on the money program. People that want to get better at something need to get a coach so they can help get better. So I just, I see so many uh, amateur, amateur moves that people make every single week. And they're like, man, I, I mean, I just wish I could do this or do that or have this or have that. And I'm like, no, you don't really want that. Because if you wanted that, you would back it up with time, energy money it would be a commitment right like you would commit to something and see it through to its conclusion so when, when i ask these hard questions it's like how serious are you about changing your behavior how serious are you about playing at a higher level how serious are you about your future how serious are you about your potential how serious are you and are you serious enough to put time energy money and commitment behind it or you're just gonna keep getting the results you want to get so this is what a good coach does, man. People always ask me, I had somebody ask me today, what do you really do for people? I'm a coach, Mike Morris. I have been a coach since I was 15 years old. I was a basketball coach at 18. From 19 to 31, I built a, basically a national powerhouse that won seven championships, seven out of nine championships. Uh, I won the first one. And all day, every day, I coach people. I have hard conversations with people. I, I'm intense and positive. I push people. 
I bring structures to them. I really teach people how to monetize. But one of the biggest things I do for people is I help them leave behind their amateur desires and make a decision to go pro. And I do that through activating the prey drive, which I've been studying my whole life. I've just put it into a science over the last two, two or three years when I wrote this book. Because uh, I'm always asking, what am I uniquely qualified to help people do? And that is to help activate their prey drive, get them thinking bigger, and wanting to play at a higher level. What's up, Bryce? And 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 to to to, to move them toward expansion in their life. I'm also talented and skilled at teaching people how to monetize a message through speaking, coaching, training, and leading. Because that's what I've been doing. And most most people go to trainings their whole life, and they and they never they never have somebody teach them how to make money with a message okay and i think we do a, a really good job of that so if you're out there i just i had this on my heart tonight to come to you and say man how serious are you about your potential potential is an idea it's an idea of kinetic energy that is stored peter o'neill until activated it's stored it's an idea it's kinetic stored until activated it is not activated until it's exerted. There's force, there's an energy, there's a momentum, there's some action you take. Typically, without the help of a coach, then you never you never manifest your potential. So if you're out there and you're like, man, I've been sitting on the sideline, eating turkey, getting lazy, becoming complacent, tired and burned out, maybe you need to think about the coaching program. Maybe you need to think about coming to the lodge on uh, December 9th. Maybe you need to think about purchasing the book or pre-ordering the book, uh, Angie Hopper. Thank you. Uh, pre-ordering the book, Flip the Switch, to get those two extra days with me, right? Maybe, maybe it's time to do something different, man. Maybe, just maybe, so we can get this thing across the finish line. So, I believe everybody needs a coach. Love you. Sunday night prep work with coach. Who are your level 10s? Who's on your hit list this week? Who's in your farm club? Who's the big client you're loving on? What deals are you getting across the finish line? And what are you? Who are you inviting to something this future, uh, this this week? Who are you inviting to something in the future, right, Lee Simmons? Because we don't whine, we don't complain, and we don't make excuses. We show up, we grow up, and we deliver. And that's a Mama Mayo special. She was down here with me over the last few weeks. So love you guys. Have a great Sunday night. Go back and watch this one. It's a good one. It's called How Serious Are You About Your Potential. God bless you.